Hi YouTube, it's Tasha. I'm coming to you again with another haul type video. I'm on a roll right now, so I think this is the third video that I've taped with this hat and this t-shirt on, so you're probably going to see two or three more. I'm trying to get them all in now. So, the hat, I'm um, conditioning my hair. And I have, uh, I didn't want to pull out my hair steamer, so that's why I got this on like this, so don't mind it. But this haul is a, a Dollar Tree haul. And I went to Dollar Tree to find this particular brand of mask. And I was only able to find the one, this particular one, that from the, at the Dollar Tree that I went to. And I went to a couple. But at the same Dollar Tree that I found this one. Okay, let's see if we can get it. The same one that I found this one, I found these. Now, I do not know if there is a difference or it's a different brand or whatever. I have not tried either of these masks, but I want to try them and see, you know, what the difference is, if any. This first one is an anti-wrinkle green tea facial mask and I have two of these the second one is an anti-aging grapeseed facial mask and I have two of these and we all know the properties of grapeseed the, it is supposed to tone the skin and the third one is, is this self-heating volcano mask which I'm actually anxious to try now this one if I'm not mistaken is for my thirsty skin ladies let's see yeah I have to look over my glasses to read uh, the new skin has self-heating mask help deep cleanse the skin with an exclusive form that takes advantage of the beneficial purifying effects of heat as soon as the mask is applied it produces a warm effect just a seconds it acts to deeply it acts deeply to help eliminate impurities the volcano stone powder helps absorb ex excess more, uh, oils well somewhere in here it made me believe that it was for drier skin types so I'm going to try them all and I'm most definitely going to try this one since this is the only one of this one that I could find. I'm going to do this one tonight. I'm going to try this one tonight. And then compare it to one of these. I'm just not sure which one I'm going to try first. They all look interesting to say the least. And they were $1 each. So, and if I'm allergic to it, oof, I'm going to hate it actually. And my skin acts real crazy sometimes. So I'm going to be interested to see how this works out for me. And I will let you guys know if this is worth your dollar or not. Okay. Bye-bye.